to Calabar, which will pass through several communities, leading to demolitions. And the Lagos state government plans to remove illegal building extensions and attachments across the state. Some traditional leaders have protested against the planned encroachment, chanting slogans and displaying placards. They have called for the government to revert to the old design of land preserved in the swamp and for consultation with the people to accommodate the new design without wiping out their villages. Meanwhile, the federal government has inaugurated a compensation verification committee to review evaluate and compensate landowners affected by the construction of the 15 trillion naira lagos calabar coastal highway minister of works david omahe directed a committee to complete verification and begin remuneration in 10 days aiming to hasten to projects construction and verified claims will be settled within 72 hours we are using the federal rates you know to do our enumeration I know very well that there is nobody that uh, you ever enumerated that is ever satisfied with how much is to be paid. But we are bound by the law. And so we are using federal rates. Our federal rates is, you know, higher than Lagos state rates in paying compensation. So we adopt the federal rates since we're the ones paying. If you have a title of the state within the right of ways of the federal government, you don't have a title. Because you don't place something on nothing. So it's up to Mr. President to qualify such people. But if you have a title within the right of the federal government, you'll be qualified for you know, this. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.